Hello everyone, I'm Melissa here and welcome to your Melissa Moments. Hello everyone, Melissa here. Welcome to your Melissa Moments. You guys, I apologize if um, the screen moves around a lot. I wanted to have the camera closer to me so I have you balanced on my knee right now. Um, this video, again, uh, this is a talking video. I apologize if you guys enjoy the unboxings because I haven't done any for a while. Um, but this is important. So I want to talk about resolutions. Okay, the New Year's coming, you guys. Probably by the time you see this video, we'll already be into it. Um, so 2023, I don't know about you guys, 2022 was just a crap year. I don't remember a year this difficult. It's been hard. So hard. Um, the first six months of this year was brutal. <sighs> brutal. It got better, um, but the first half of the year was like I, I didn't think I could handle as much crap that came about but that's fine we made it to the end <laughs> we're here we're December right now we're here we're almost into January I am so hopeful and excited for 2023 now I was excited for 2022 and look what happened so I'm trying to reserve my excitement a little bit because I'm worried that 2023 is going to also be a crap year, but I'm hopeful. I'm hopeful. Um, resolutions. Typically, yes, I'm one of those people who has a resolution for the new year. Um, I thought long and hard about it. I thought long and hard about it. And I came up with four resolutions for the new year. Now, that's a lot because a lot of these are big. Um, I'm in a very different place today than I was a year ago. And things that are important to me, things that matter to me have also really changed. So I wanted to talk about my resolutions. Now, if you guys aren't the kind of person that makes a resolution, that's fine. You don't have to. Um, but that's what we're going to be talking about today. So if this video isn't for you, I completely understand. Um, thank you so much for checking me out. Uh, if you guys are interested in what my resolutions are, let's talk about that. Okay. I have four. Um, I have them written down here. So let's talk about the first one. Um, and these are big, you guys. I don't know. Okay. Also with these resolutions, this is also going to tie into a Melissa moment quite a bit. We're going to um, do videos on most of this uh, and you guys will be able to see my progress, hopefully progress and not lack of progress along the way. Um, but number one, okay, number one resolution for me, purge, clean, organize. That's my number one resolution, okay? We recently did home renovations, and with the home renovations, we had to clear out pretty much everything on our main floor. And if it's one thing I've noticed, I enjoy decluttering. My home feels bigger, airy, comfortable, relaxing and I think a lot of that is because we don't have anything on the walls the walls are all cleared off um, we had to take everything down because we painted the house there's nothing on it and I like it now with that said we do have to still put some things on the walls like my curtains still aren't up we have to put curtains here you know I'd like a mirror you know I'd like some pictures, like there are some things we will be putting up on the walls. We just haven't done it yet. Um, but I'm enjoying the lack of things. Now, this is an interesting concept for me because I'm the kind of person that likes things. I enjoy things. 
and I also am a shopaholic, which will tie into another resolution. So what we want to do is purge, organize, and clean. This is going to be, um, I guess, a, a series. I don't know if you want to call it that. Uh, for a Melissa moments, starting in January. Um, actually, my friends is going to be doing this with me, and I think maybe some of her friends as well. I'm not sure. Um, but basically, what we're going to do, and I did this. Was it last year or the year before? I didn't put it on a Melissa moment, but same kind of idea where you kind of follow every day or every week, it gives you like, okay, today you're cleaning your bedroom and you go through it and clean it. Same kind of idea. We haven't come up with all of the parameters, which I probably should do because January is coming up quick. Um, but I think we're going to do like maybe every week, probably every week, we're going to do a video. And it'll be like, hey guys, let's clean my kitchen pantry. And we're gonna go through my pantry and this is good, this is very vulnerable because <laughs> I'm gonna show you what my pantry looks like, how messy it is, and we're gonna go through it and we're gonna organize it and we're gonna clean it and we're gonna toss whatever we don't need or expired or you know, you name it. Then we're going to go through like the kitchen ca cabinets and we're going to go through all my plates and all my cups and all my, like, do we need all this? Probably not, right? So we're really going to do it step by step. If you guys want to follow along, if this is something that you might be interested in, please follow along with us. We're going to go through it step by step. We're going to do it together. We're going to talk about how sometimes it's really hard to get rid of things, especially if it has a emotional connection or a sentimental connection, it can be really difficult. Um, we're gonna talk about all that, but we're gonna do it together. So this is gonna be a new series for a Melissa moment in the new year, um, where we purge, clean, and organize our homes and our lives together. Now, like I said, this is gonna be daunting. It can be a little scary, um, but, if you can trust me, the feeling you will have afterward is so worth it. Your home, your space will feel lighter. It won't feel so claustrophobic. You'll feel better. It's amazing how it works. If you've ever watched organizational shows or, um, you know, Marie Kondo, uh, where she talks about this and sparking joy and it, there's there's really something to it you guys there really is and I'm not saying I'm gonna get rid of everything because I know I'm not but I do also know there's a lot of stuff that I don't need that I don't use and it's just taking up space and what like why why so I'm gonna be vulnerable with you guys because I have I mean I have a small house so a lot of my cabinets a lot of things behind closed doors they are full and I'm going to share that with you. So it's going to be difficult. Just doing that alone is going to be difficult, but we're going to do it. So that'll be a new series coming up on a Melissa moment starting in January. So make sure you have subscribed if you're interested so you don't miss out on those videos. Okay. First resolution. Second resolution, which kind of ties into number one, not spending money. Okay. This is big. This is going to be hard. I am a shopaholic. I have an addiction. Okay. Now what I mean by not spending money, <clears throat> I'm not saying I'm not spending any money because obviously there's still things I need. There's still things I'm going to have to buy. Okay. I'm talking about limiting the unnecessary spending. For example, if you've been watching my channel for a while, you know I love Value Village. You know I love thrifting. That's going to cut back. I'm not saying it's going to stop because I have to be realistic. It's not going to stop, but we're going to cut it back, okay? Um, it's going to be hard, you guys. It's going to be really hard because I love shopping, especially that's like my go-to when I'm having a bad day or I'm trying to make myself feel better, I go shopping. So we're going to have to find something to replace the shopping. 
Um, but obviously if I'm trying to clean, organize, and purge my house, I don't want to go out and buy unnecessary things to fill it back up again. So they kind of tie together. It's going to be hard, but we're going to do our best. I am going to keep a few things. For example, um, I love Starbucks. Okay. I'm still going to go to Starbucks, but again, I'm going to limit it instead of going to Starbucks four times a week. Maybe I go to Starbucks twice a month. Like we're going to limit it. Okay. I'm still going to get my Scentsy. You guys know I love Scentsy. I'm still going to do that. I'm still keeping my Scentsy Club. My husband asked me that. He's like, are you going to keep your Scentsy Club? I'm like, hell yes, I'm keeping my Scentsy Club. So I'm still going to have a few things that I'm indulging in. Okay, it's not like I'm not doing anything. But we're going to limit some other stuff. Okay, Starbucks and Scentsy bring me joy. I legitimately feel happy and excited when I have Starbucks and Scentsy. So that's something that I want to keep. Okay. But other stuff, you know, like usually my friends and I get together once a month and typically we do shopping. That's what we do. So maybe in the new year, instead of going shopping, we do a different activity. Like maybe we just go for a walk or maybe we go for a coffee or maybe we... I don't know, volunteer our time at an animal shelter. I don't know what we're going to do, but we're going to have to do something other than shopping because I have to cut back on it. Um, number three, focus on my health. This is another big one. You guys, this is full of big, big goals. Now I've already started focusing on my health this year. Obviously, um, I had bariatric surgery in April. Um, that's a big thing to focus on your health. I started a strength training program, which I'm over six months into. Um, that's another big thing. I've been consistent with that. Things are going great. <clears throat> I'm working with a naturopath to help me, uh, with like my internal health. Um, I have big plans, you guys. Let me move you. Let me move you over here. You're going to be a little further away, but that's okay. <clears throat> okay. I want to move you because I want to show you. Now, I just got uh, just a little notebook from the dollar store, okay? And what I've done, we're still in December, but I want it to be ready for January, okay? Um, like I said, I had bariatric surgery in April. I've been doing fairly good with eating healthy and that kind of thing. However, I'm going to bump it up. We're going to ramp things up, you guys. We're going into the new year, okay? Um, I've got a trip planned for next November. We'll talk about that in a minute when we get to resolution number four. So I have made a list and a plan of what my days look like, okay? Now this is just vitamins and supplements. That's all that's on here. We'll get to the rest in a minute, okay? Um, but this ties in with my strength training program. Okay, my new strength training class starts on January 7th, I believe, or 4th, January 4th. <clears throat> so with that said, I have strength training. I also, you know, strength training and uh, nutrition um, and bariatric all go together. Okay, as a bariatric patient, there are certain things that I need to do. There's certain vitamins I need to take every day. Okay, um, as a participant in strength training, obviously exercise is a big part of it. Um, also with my naturopath, there's another component of other vitamins to take. And as a bariatric patient, I also need to focus on high protein. Now I typically eat a vegetarian or vegan when possible diet, which can be difficult to get protein in. So I really have to plan it out. Also, when it comes to vitamins and supplements, there's some that you cannot take together because they either cancel each other out or they work against each other. There's a lot of rules. As a bariatric patient, I also am not supposed to drink when I eat, right? Like I also have to get so much fiber in a day. I have to get so much protein in a day. Like there's a lot of rules and it can be very overwhelming to figure out when to take things and when not to take things and all that kind of stuff. And you're supposed to eat every two to three hours. And like, it's a whole thing, you guys. Um, 
I can understand why most people don't go to the gym or why most people don't have a good diet, especially when you're working full time out of your house, because this is a full time job. This is a full time job. If I had a job outside of my house right now, there'd be no way I could stick to this plan. Zero. Like it would not be realistic. So I'm just going to go through it with you. Now this could be boring and I apologize. Um, but this, this is more for me. Um, I'm sharing my life with you. Who knows? Maybe this will inspire some of you. Maybe some of you have tried to do this and got overwhelmed and frustrated. I don't know, but this is what I'm doing. So based on my strength training, now my new program means that I have strength training every Monday, Wednesday, and Saturday. That's my new strength training, um, schedule. Okay. So I have a thyroid condition. I have to take a thyroid pill every day. I wake up at 3 a.m. every morning to take my thyroid pill. I know it sounds crazy. The reason I do that is because I want to make sure I take it at a time where it doesn't interfere with other medications and vitamins and supplements that I'm taking. It's okay. I literally keep it beside my bed. I literally wake up when my alarm goes off, pop a pill, swallow it, go back to sleep. Not a problem. So 3 a.m. I take a thyroid pill every day. 7 a.m. I wake up, typically. Some days I might wake up earlier, but I'm usually up by 7, okay? By 7.30, I'm taking a protein shake. This is my breakfast, okay? I'm doing a protein shake. Uh, my protein shake has the protein powder, soy milk, because soy milk has more protein in it than other milk alternatives, and I don't drink cow milk because I'm vegetarian or vegan. So um, soy milk has more protein. That's why I take it. I've had a lot of people ask me, why not oat milk? Why not rice milk? Why not hemp milk? The protein's not there. With what I'm doing and being a bariatric patient, I need high protein. Soy milk it is. With my soy milk, I'm taking a probiotic. I'm also taking an omega oil. I'm also taking multivitamins, vitamin D, B6, B12, and ashwagandha, okay? That's my breakfast, right there. Now, <clears throat> that's at 7.30 in the morning. 10 a.m., snack time, okay? So for my snack, I could have something like fruit, yogurt, nuts, cheese, that's my snack. I'm also taking two calcium citrate pills, which as a bariatric patient, I need to take every day. I'm also taking one scoop of collagen with water. Now collagen is just obviously skin and you know, that kind of stuff. So that's also what I take. Noon, I have my lunch. Um, that could be an array of things. Who knows, right? I have lunch. Uh, I also take vitamin C and an iron pill because shocker, I have a problem absorbing and maintaining iron levels. Anemic anyone? <laughs> um, so I also take an iron pill. 2 p.m. I have a snack. Again, could be anything like the morning snack. Yogurt, fruit, cheese, nuts, that kind of thing. I also, uh, at 4 p.m., I have supper. Now, 4 p.m. is early for supper, but it's because this is my gym day. My gym day starts at 5. 5 to 6 is the gym. So I either have to decide, do I eat before the gym or do I eat after the gym? So I've opted to have supper at 4 p.m., okay? Uh, with my supper, I'm also taking another two calcium citrate pills and a pre-workout bar, okay? So basically, it's a pre-workout bar that helps you burn fat more, that kind of stuff. I take that before I go to the gym. 5 p.m., I have the gym. Uh, while I'm at the gym, I'm drinking water with creatine in it. Uh, 6 p.m., I'm having water with my BCAs. Uh, this basically, I can't remember what BCA stands for. It's a whole complex blah, blah, blah. But again, it helps with after the gym, recovery, all that kind of stuff, blah, blah, blah. It's supposed to be good for you. I don't know. Try it. See what happens. Now, at 7 p.m., I'm going to do another protein shake, Okay. So I'm doing a protein shake with my soy milk again. 9 p.m., 
I'm taking magnesium and I'm going to try a turmeric latte. Turmeric has a lot of really good health benefits, um, so that's what I'm going to do at 9. And then typically 10 p.m. is my bedtime. Um, I'm trying, right now I get probably about an average of seven to eight hours of sleep. I want to try to increase that if I can to nine hours of sleep. I've heard that nine hours of sleep is really the optimum amount of sleep women should be getting. So I might try to do that. So that's Monday, Wednesday, and Saturday. Okay. Tuesday, Thursday, Friday, and Saturday is pretty much the exact same thing, except, let me just see where the difference is. Um, I'm not doing a pre-workout bar because I don't have the gym. Okay. Um, and then I'm also not doing my AMRAP because I don't have the gym. That's only on gym days. And I'm also not doing another protein shake after the gym because again, that's only on gym days. So basically, um, I have in here supper is still at four. Uh, and then my 7 p.m. is now a snack, which again, probably again, fruit, yogurt, cheese, nuts, something like that, maybe trail mix, something like that, I don't know, um, with a calcium citrate, and then everything else is the same. Everything else is the same. Now, I know what you're thinking, that's a lot of vitamins and supplements. It is, it really is. Um, but again, this is me focusing on my health. This is what I need to do. Now, like I said, I don't know how an average person can do this when you have a full-time job outside of your home. It's also very expensive, okay? Uh, for all of my supplements and my gym, it's about $800 a month. That's a lot. Not a lot of people can afford that. Thankfully, my husband has a really good job and it supports my health journey and efforts and we should be good. Um, now another thing that I've done, because if you know me, you know I don't pay full price for anything, you guys. That's one of my rules. So I have made a list of all my supplements and all my vitamins and I have found the best possible price for all of them and where to get them, okay? Um, a lot of them is Amazon, which is great because it comes right to me. <clears throat> Another nice thing is because one of my resolutions is to not spend so much money, and when I go to stores, I have a hard time sticking to the list of the things I need, and I buy other things not on my list, which goes against my not spending money policy. So the nice thing is with Amazon, I don't have that problem. I'm not shopping around. I'm not seeing other things on the shelf. I'm literally searching for what I need, putting it in my cart and clicking buy now. So that is helpful. Okay. So a lot of them come from Amazon. Um, a lot of the other ones come from another company that I order from that I'm not allowed to talk about anymore. If you've been watching my show for a while, you'll know which company I'm talking about. But some of my supplements I get from there. Same idea as Amazon, I'm not shopping around, I'm not spending additional money, so that's good. A few of my supplements, interestingly enough, come from my naturopath. Now, obviously, they sell a lot of supplements and vitamins. Um, some of them are cheaper through them than even Amazon, uh, which surprised me because typically places like that, you know, charge more money but there's three that I get directly from my natural path. So that's nice. Um, and then three of them, protein powder uh, and my AMRAP, I get from Supplement World. Now the nice thing about Supplement World is they actually are partnered up with my physiotherapist's office, which is where I go to the gym. So any uh, clients of this physiotherapist's office gets 10% off their purchase. So yay, thank you, I don't wanna pay full price. Um, so that's nice. 
I also take advantage of sales. They just did a Black Friday sale, buy one, get one half price. So I was thinking ahead. I went and I picked up a can of protein powder and the AMRAP, buy one, get one half price. So when January comes around and it's time for me to put my plan into action, I am ready to go and I saved myself some money. So yay, planning ahead definitely makes a difference. Um, so I have all that organized. I have all that filled out. I also have my goals and these are my weight loss goals. Okay. So basically I have on here the weight goal that I'd like to hit and the date I would like to hit it by. So, um, as I had stated before, I would like to be, by the time April rolls around, I'd like to be 175. That's kind of my goal. So my first goal is to get under 200 pounds. Second goal is to get to 175. Overall goal is to get to 150. I don't know if that's even possible for me. I've never been 150. The lowest weight I have ever, ever been was 166. And even that was a struggle. I usually maintained 175 pretty good. So I'm happy if I can get back to that. Um, so I have that, my goal weight, my goal date, and then what the actual was. I've already missed my first one, you guys. Uh, by December 11th, I wanted to be 200 pounds and I came in at 203. Um, again, it was close. Right? Like I said, I seem to be fluctuating between 203 and 206. I've been there for like over a month now. It can be frustrating. Um, but that is another one of my goals for 2023. Focus on my health. So that includes everything. That includes um, the nutrition. That includes the exercise. That includes mental health. I want to make sure I have time for me. So like once a week, I'm going to have a me day or a me hour or whatever, where I do something just for myself and my mental health. Um, trying to get enough water in in a day, trying to get enough sleep in in a day. This is a lot, um, but this is what one of my focuses is going to be for 2023. Okay. My last goal or my last resolution for 2023, increase my social circle. That's it. I've already started. Um, I, you know, stay at home mom, don't have a lot of friends. Um, I, I don't, I don't have a social circle. I don't go out. Uh, I go out with one person usually once a month we try to hit usually once a month sometimes it doesn't work out every month but that's just the way life goes um that's really it i don't go out i don't now with that said i am an introvert okay i'm happy being home i don't feel like i'm missing anything i'm happy being here i like being home i don't like people um i don't know if it's just the years of retail that i've done or what? I'm just not a, I'm not a fan of people. Um, but I feel like maybe I should have a few friends. It does get a little frustrating sometimes because sometimes I'll be like, Hey, I want to go to a movie and I have no one to go with. Now with that said, I have no problem going to a movie by myself. I've done it a million times. It doesn't really bother me, but sometimes it'd be fun to go out with people, right? People other than my husband and my seven year old daughter. It's just to have another kind of connection. Um, so I thought, hey, I should increase my social circle. Now, I've already started working on that this year. Uh, I've got a trip planned for um, 2023 in November with a, a group of women. Um, so I've already started working on that, which is great. So what I like about this and why I'm so hopeful of 2023 is I feel very prepared for my plan, for my goals. I feel like I've already started. I feel like I'm ahead of the game. I'm hoping that just helps me and gives me kind of a leg up when January rolls around. So I feel like I've done everything to set myself up for success. The only thing, like I said, I still have to come up with the purge, clean, organize kind of what we're doing when we're doing it. So I still have to come up with that. But otherwise, I feel like I'm organized and I feel like I'm ready. I feel like I'm really prepared for 2023. Let's hope I am. <laughs> Let's hope there aren't any curveballs coming at me. Um, but things are looking good. I'm happy about it. 
those are my resolutions for 2023. Let me know, do you guys have resolutions? Are any of them the same as mine? Have you done any of these resolutions previous? Do you have any tips or tricks or anything I should be aware of? Uh, I would love to hear from you on that because the more help I have with this, the more successful that I can potentially be. So I hope you guys had a great Christmas. I hope you guys had an amazing New Year's and I hope 2023 brings amazing, wonderful things to you and your life. And I would love to hear from you. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. See you in the next one. Bye guys.